Being self-sufficient and being able to do things by yourself is certainly a hallmark of living on a boat and going cruising. Sometimes, though, the exact tool that you need was a little too bulky and too big to take with you. So what do you do? Hi, I'm Nika Waters, and welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. Today I'm sharing a kind of a cool makeshift router table in case you don't have space on board to take that occasionally incredibly useful tool. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Sailrite, the one-stop shop for all your DIY canvas and upholstery projects. From heavy-duty portable sewing machines to fabric, foam, and everything in between, Sailrite's outstanding customer support and free how-to videos empower you to sew for your boat, your home, and more. Visit sailrite.com to get started on your DIY journey. That's S-A-I-L-R-I-T-E dot com. Sailrite is definitely embodies to me what you have to do on a cruising boat. You have to be DIY, self-sufficient, figure things out, and sometimes you have to make them up as you go along. Yep, it's helpful to have how-to videos like Sailrites, which are incredible. Sometimes, though, you're relying on your own ingenuity. This exact thing happened with Jeremy the other day as he was working on bits for the wind vane, and he really needed a router table to be able to router the edges of his G10 pieces that he was putting together. Our router table went up to Vermont ages ago. And if you're not familiar with what a router table is, basically it's a table where you can fix your router up so that the blade is fixed in an upright position. And then you can use the table to move whatever whatever it is that you're routering around it. So instead of freehanding or moving the router, you're moving the piece against the router, if that makes any sense. These pieces that Jeremy is building and needing to have smooth rounded edges, which the router is perfect for, they're way too small to have a clamp to hold it in place so you could actually work the router around. And a router table is exactly the right tool to use for this. If you don't happen to have space for a router table, but you have the occasion to need the precision of a router table, all you need are a flat surface, a two by four, four clamps, and that router. First of all, you're starting with a flat surface. This could be a cutting board or a table, cockpit table, or a piece of plywood that you happen to have. And you clamp a two by four, probably using two clamps, to the edge of that flat surface. The two by four is going horizontally because it is easier to clamp that way. And then using the other two clamps out of the four, you wanna clamp the router to the two by four. Basically, you're creating a shelf that you're butting the router against, and it makes the router stable in place. If you want to and have an extra clamp or an extra shop vac or a shop vac handy, you can even clamp the shop vac hose against the router if you don't have a third hand or another person helping you and you need to capture the dust. This router table, pseudo router table, was an incredibly satisfying workaround that enabled Jeremy to get a precision edge and a rounded edge on fairly small pieces without worrying about his fingers getting caught in it or anything like that. Sometimes not having a huge boat and a huge amount of space means we can't take every single tool with us. So we're careful and judicious about what we do carry on board. But being able to create a reasonable version of a specialized tool with materials that we carry on board that work for lots and lots of different things, it's a really satisfying workaround. And if you don't happen to have a router table but need one, maybe, just maybe, this workaround will help you. I can't wait to share an anchorage with you somewhere down the line, and we can toast to our good fortune of being able to be together in this incredible lifestyle. I also can't wait to see you if you're in Annapolis at the Annapolis Sailboat Show in the fall of 2022. Come on by the Boat Galley booth and say hello to me and Carolyn. We're there for an awful lot of the time. Hope to meet you. Thank you so much for listening. 